let it be known that I don't care if females have ever rejected you in the past. And by you, I just mean the generic person that's been rejected by a female. Because I don't know who's behind the other side of this camera, and I really shouldn't waste my time thinking about that. Regardless, it seems that a significant portion of the right wing, small fringe portion maybe, but a significant enough portion, just uses the right as a means of whining about the fact that people in the past have had unrequited loves or friend zones or they've been straight up curved by a female, sometimes in a humiliating fashion. But, you see, that's not the problem that I have with females per se. And when I get that label thrown on me, I know that it's obvious that that person has no idea how I think or how I process information because they're incapable of processing information in any way themselves. My issue with females is that the modern white Western female seems more calculated and incentivized and determined to destroy the West than even a Jew, than even a Negroid, than even insert non white person, non Western person here. They seem to be doing most of the work. I mean, the media can subvert any of our values as long as possible. That's not going to change a damn thing. What is going to play a role is the fact that they seem to want to passively, passive-aggressively characterize these men as being weak. These men as being something that needs to die off. And that they'll be happy, they'll experience some form of schadenfreude when they die off. Now, I also look at the people that are against fat shaming. It's not a white girl thing, it's a western girl thing at this point. So if you've been Americanized, or you've dealt with the first world long enough to have become broken down by it in a negative way, not in a positive way. You haven't been properly proselytized to value things. You've been spoiled by our economic insularities that have kind of blocked us from reality. <laughs> then it's safe to say that that seeming isn't something I can get angry on, but it's interesting to mention because with fat shaming you're introduced to something that I've learned a while back yet I've never applied in my head women are all about what they are what they've become where as guys are all about becoming they're all about transforming themselves about getting to that next level, about evolving, regressing, progressing, devolving, degenerating, regenerating, generating, whatever. They're about that change. That's what they're all about. Where females are all about wearing their heart on their sleeve. This is who I am. If you don't like that, then whatever and my issue with that is that that hasn't been taken into account you see when I think of a fat shamer someone against fat shaming someone that's all about fat acceptance, fat pride or maybe they're against slut shaming and it's all about being accepting a, onto whether or not you're a slut. It's because 
they wear it on their sleeve that that's what they are. And that's not what they are. You're not fat. You're not a slut. You're becoming something that's better or worse. Okay, but now I'm projecting my perspective onto things, and my perspective is a male perspective, which they wouldn't entirely get. I mean, they could get an idea of it, but it hasn't been implanted into their nature the way it's been with us. And that's why men and females need each other, because we work on that dynamic, and that's how we help each other. They can reinstill a confidence in us because they have that base of what they've become. They're not this eternally shifting thing. They long for that what I am. They long for an identification. Whereas we're all about evolution and or how far we've descended from greatness, or how better we are. So we need a rock. And when a person that really doesn't want to deal with females in the long term usually talks about females, they really do treat them like they are a rock, that they are an inhibitor. Because that's what they are. And we need that. At some point. In fact, a lot more the most give credit for. The whole problem is that to inhibit excessively and in the wrong direction, that could be problematic. I wonder if the running water is back. It's been gone for three days. It's on and off. I'm probably going to take a bath after this and then get on camera and make another video. Where for a female, they need a bit of a male perspective. They need the idea that they're not just a fat lady. Because if you're going to consider yourself fat, it's going to become such a fixed thing. You'll even see it as a race. That I'm the fat race. That I'm the slut race. That I'm the that I'm like lesbian, bisexual, sapiosexual, pansexual, demisexual, asexual race. That's what I am, which, <laughs> no, no, that's not what you are, it's not. <sighs> it really isn't, anyway, I think I'm done with this video. I mean, okay. Yeah, they will treat it as a race, but we gotta let them know that, no, really, that's not what you are, you're more than that, you could become more than that, and that'll really put them in a direction. So it's one thing to have an identity and a direction, these are not the same for us, they're kind of antithetical, but they don't operate on a binary they're more dialectical, and you can, they're dualistic, and you can just shift them around until there's a good balance for both sides, a yin and a yang. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka 7, and suck my dick, respect the king, ah! all those catchphrases I use interchangeably, I'm throwing it all here.